Okay, to make a cream with the coconut meat, uh, first we have to open the coconuts. The best tool for that is a very thick, heavy cleaver. Now we want it heavy because we don't want the knife to bounce off the coconut. We don't want enough weight to just hit and make a dead thud right into the coconut. Uh, the other thing is, is that a thick knife won't bend or chip. So uh, we want a nice heavy cleaver like this one. And the easiest way is to just go three times or four times around the coconut and then we can take the corner and pop it open like this. Now the nice thing about these coconuts, the Thai coconuts, is that the meat inside is very soft and very easy to blend or puree. The water is also very tasty. So then you're going to want to scrape the rest of the meat out of the inside of the coconut. If you don't have a big enough hole to get your spoon in, you can just chop this in half and then scrape the meat out that way. Now one thing when you scrape the meat is that the place where your knife cuts sometimes breaks the shell. So when you scrape the meat out, you're going to get little bits of shell on it like this. This stuff does not blend. Even the smallest little sliver will not blend. And whatever you make, eventually you're going to bite into it and it's going to crush your teeth and it hurts. So you want to make sure that you have all of this off. The, um, there is a much lighter brown skin inside the coconut, which is this, which is very soft and edible. So if you're blending uh, this into a cream, you won't have a problem with that. Unless, of course, you want your cream to be completely white. If you're making a mayonnaise or a coconut cream, you might want to just take a knife and clean this part off. so that you have a completely white piece of coconut meat. Now I have some here from some coconuts I already chopped open. And they come different thicknesses and different textures, so um, don't let that fool you. It'll all blend. So we're going to put some coconut meat in here. Some of it's really soft. So um, if you want this to be coconut flavored, what I would do is add some of the coconut water back in and blend it together. If you want this to be another flavor, like say vanilla, I would just add the vanilla and a little salt and use plain water to get it to blend. That way you don't influence the flavor too much with coconut. The meat itself doesn't have a whole lot of coconut flavor. So it's very easy to get it other flavors. And you can make a savory sauce, like you could put some olive oil and saffron in here, maybe a little garlic and make a saffron cream sauce. You can make it sweet. You could blend some strawberries into a liquid and then throw the coconut meat in and get uh, a strawberry cream. But in this case, we're going to do a little vanilla coconut. So I put vanilla in there, a little coconut to get it to blend. And this will make a great pie filling or a pudding or for parfaits. This is also excellent to use in a smoothie or the base of a smoothie. So there we go. We have a nice, very creamy, smooth coconut vanilla cream. Now if you want this to be really thick, of course, just add a little bit more coconut and you can get a nice, uh, thick cream which you could fill into a pie crust and refrigerate and it would become very solid, solid enough to actually cut slices and serve as a slice of coconut pie. And there you go. That's cream with young coconut.